Welcome to Bronze Man Mode, a series where I can only trade items where I first unlock them by PKing them or Iron Manning them. The goal of Bronze Man Mode is to build a maxed out PKing account and unlock every major item in PvP. So I'm going to be getting 70 Slayer entirely through Wilderness Slayer. I'll be doing Wilderness Slayer for two reasons. One, GP that I'll get from Laren's Keys, and two, the potential chance to get myself a Dagon High piece. Once more, I'm just looking to get one Dagon High piece from Wilderness Slayer before 69 Slayer. So not this time. All right. I got a medium clue from that task. I got 53 Slayer. All right, medium casket. Give me an Armadale Crozier. Thank God. So pretty much I'm only going to show you a Slayer task if anything substantial happens in it, like getting a key, getting a level, whatever. All right, another Slayer task, another medium clue. Oh, I didn't realize that was actually an unlock. Medium clue casket. Give me not that. All right, another Slayer task. I actually got two keys this time around. Key number one. Disappointing. Key number two. Crap. Hmm. Yes, this guy's running from me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's another task in the bag. Got an easy clue scroll. All right, casket. Give me something. Ooh, that's another slayer task. I got a slayer level from that and a range level from that. I also got a key and a clue. Let's go do the clue. All right, here's the Laren's key. Uh, well, can't do this because I don't have a heraldic shield. This is my first hellhound I killed. I killed one and got a clue from this. Here we go. Our first casket. Uh, nothing great. All right, here we go. Casket number two. All right. Ah. So we are going to be getting 70 Slayer, but first, this video is sponsored. Listen, man, I'm going to cut you a deal here. Bro. I've been told that I have to slay zombies as my slayer task, but I'm willing to let you do it for me. Bruh? I'm going to let you slay zombies in State of Survival, which just so happens to be today's sponsor. Bro. State of Survival is a mobile survival strategy game based around zombies. In State of Survival, you play as survivors in a zombie apocalypse while trying to rebuild your home and save mankind from the darkness of a zombie apocalypse. Bro. There's even a crossover with The Walking Dead featured in this game, meaning you can play with characters from The Walking Dead like Daryl Dixon. Bro. There's a lot to do in State of Survival, such as grow and design your settlement, take part in multiple game modes such as PvP, PvE, and more, and you can experience the exciting game story that that offers many twists and turns. Awesome. Wait, did you just talk? Bruh. Yeah. So, download State of Survival now using the link below and use my creator code FRAMEDSOS to earn yourself 2,000 free bio caps and the rare hero Rusty. Okay, I'll do it. Perfect. Wait, you did talk. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Hey, look at that bot. Yeah, baby. No botting for you. Crap, YouTuber. Just got 58 Slayer. So I will finish the task and then I will go and get my black mask. All right, that's the task. I got one Laren's key. Okay. You know, while we're at it, I actually do have a decent amount of loot I can sell. So, all right, here's all the loot. All right, that's the loot. 1.8 mil. Oh my God. Yes. So freaking lucky with this. I have only killed 88 cave horrors. I am so freaking lucky with this, man. That's our Slayer Helm. Now we just have to imbue it. And that's the clue casket. What do we get? All right. Okay, many hours of Nightmare Zone later and we are done with it. I do not like Nightmare Zone, man, at all. There we go. Imbued Slayer Helmet. By the way, if I ever have random seeds unlocked, it's because I do birdhouse runs and I get bird nests. Like, I just unlocked the U seeds. Oops, 59 Slayer, 10 more levels to go. There we go, that was a good Slayer task. I got one lens key, one hard clue scroll, and 32k Slayer experience from that. That's one of the better tasks I've gotten. And I can't do this clue. 60 Slayer, 84 range, 80 HP. Give me a Dagon high piece, man. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Well, that was weird. Casket. Oh, not bad. 61, uh, something, something. 20K experience, and I also got five Laren's keys and a clue scroll. All right, five Laren's keys. Hey, I like the video. Five chances. Okay, four chances at a Dagon High piece. Okay. Oh, that's a thing. Oh my God, that's actually pretty good. GP wise, that sucks. Okay, that's an unlock. I'll take that. And that's not Dagon High. All right, I'm selling all this. 
All right, 1.1 mil. Casket and nothing. All right, casket. What? What? I didn't even know this was possible. For an EC clue, I got 10.8K. I've never seen that. Pretty good Slayer task, 16K XP and two Laren's keys. Okay, two keys, one. Uh. All right, what the heck? I got a champion scroll. <laughs> okay, I got a Hellhounds task. This is my first hard clue. Let's see if we can do it. Nope, can't do this one. Another clue, but I can't do. Oh, look at that, another clue. Mm, I love this, still can't do it. Another clue, can we do? I love hard clues that I can't do, it's so funny. I'm laughing. I literally did a quest for this clue, so please let me do the clue. This is why I had to do the quest, by the way, so I can enchant that. Finally, I actually got a casket. Wait, is that? Okay, that's an unlock. 63 Slayer, six more to go. Another good Slayer task, and I actually got five keys this time. Okay, Dagonai? Nope. Dagonai? Nope. Dagonai? Nope. Dagonai? Nope. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna sell everything I've gotten again so far. And nearly a mil. 85 range. I keep missing every level because I'm funny. Hey, this guy came back. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Man, I love this place. Eh, that task kind of sucked, but it's good XP. I got one key and I got a clue scroll. Ah, ugh. I did do another quest for this clue scroll. That's a casket and third age, whatever, please. A few tasks later, we're 64 Slayer. All right, three keys. One. Two, three, crap. Goody was doing his Venge nuke and he actually scouted this guy. So I figured I should go and try and PK him. There we go. I'm getting him. And now this guy's gonna bolt rag me out. Okay. Okay, I kind of low key expected him to have like a cash deck or something. Just Adam and G is all he really lost though. Come on. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Uh, I just think he only had a runes. <laughs> all right, another hard clue. And, uh, all right. All right, clue scroll number two. Casket, whatever. Oh, nice. Three nice unlocks. I actually do need a Zami book as well, I think. Actually, I don't know. 2021, maybe I don't, but still. Clue scroll number three. And that's casket. And, ooh. Yeah, I'll see you later anyway. And that's a casket. Third age. Ooh, looking good. Screw it. Let's just attack this guy. This is a dumb idea, but like, whatever. What's this guy doing? I feel like he has something on him. He's just panicking. This is like the dumbest thing for me to do, by the way. Scrolling up like this, but like, whatever. He had full food. Dagon high. Okay. Pretty good task. Two Laren's keys. All right, two keys. One. Okay, not Dagon high. Not Dagon High. Decent Slayer task, two keys. 66 Slayer, task about to be done, and I have four Laren's keys, so I'll go loot those. Four keys. One, uh, all right, not bad. Two, bad. Three, eh, four. I mean, new unlock. <gasps> Just called on accident. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, like that's kind of karma for me skull tricking in the past. So it is what it is. All right. That was an okay Slayer task. All right. So I need an adamant square shield and my best bet at getting an adamant square shield is probably going to be from a crystal chest. So I'm going to try to loot like 30 keys and see if I can have my luck at an adamant square shield. <gasps> there we go. Got it. Nice. So that cost me 630k. Okay. It cost me like 100k to do that then. There we go. We got the casket. Casket. Oh, that was a week. Just got 86 range. Decent Slayer task, two keys, one hard clue. That's not Dagon High. That's not Dagon High. All right, casket, give me third age. That's not that. Dude, how do I keep missing these Slayer levels? 67 Slayer, and this has been an incredible task. I extended these bad boys, so life has been good. I got like three keys or something. I don't know, you'll see. Yeah, I got 35,000 XP of that task. All right, three chances out of Dagon High piece. That's not Dagon High. That's not Dagon High. That's not Dagon High. All right, weird task. Not Dagon High. Got a medium clue from that task. All right, that's casket. Give me Ranger. Helm, thanks. Are you kidding me? I missed this Slayer level. I was sitting here camping this, being like, oh, I'll get there in time. <laughs> nope, 68 Slayer. Two more to go. I love my life. That's one. That's two. 
Wow. And that's three. Casket. Give me... Oh. I already have that. I got 87 range off this task, and I also have one clone. That's not Dagon High. And that's not Dagon High. 69 Slayer. Important, important milestone. Really good Slayer task. I got a couple keys. Not Dagon High. Not Dagon High. Not Dagon High. Not Dagon High. Uh, <laughs> I think I, yeah, I already unlocked this item from a PK, but that's interesting to see. 81 HP, 70 Slayer. That took such a long time, but I am done with Wilderness Slayer. Oh my God. I'm so happy to be done with Wilderness Slayer. You have no idea. Here we go. Last six attempts at getting Dagon High. Nope, not Dagon High. That's not Dagon High. That's not Dagon High, but that's good. It's cash. That's uh, not Dagon High either. That's not Dagon High. Uh, and that's also not Dagon High. So I opened it up 58 times with no Dagon High. All right, medium and a hard casket. Medium first. And the hard casket. Well, we have a lot of stuff to sell. So I'm going to sell everything I can and get as much GP as I can. All right, let's pop it all in there. And we're looking at 2.4 mil. Okay. And here we are. 70 crafting. Crafting doesn't cost that much money. To get 70, I really only cost me like what? Like 1.2 mil? That's not bad. I need to get myself 55 thieving. So I just got done with the feud just to get myself 15k. And we just busted out 55 thieving real quick. All right. Last thing to do. 60 hunter. I'm throwing a bird at these ugly rabbits. Oh boy. You have no idea how happy I am to be done with this hunter grind. That was atrocious it was awful i'm happy it's done i'm pretty sure these are all the stats i need at this point to do monkey madness too so now it's finally come time to unlock the item i couldn't get from peking the granite mall the reason why i couldn't get this item from peking is thanks to an item called the ornate mall handle the ornate mall handle is an attachment that gets added to the granite mall to bring its special attack energy usage from 60 percent to 50 percent once a player dies with this ornate mall handle attached granite mall they drop coins as opposed to the granite mall itself so essentially that means the odds of me finding someone who isn't using an ornate mall handle is practically zero it's virtually impossible so i'll show you how we're going to go and actually achieve the granite mall we have to go on kind of a bit of a weird path to get this granite mall i just have to find one eclectic impling we catch it perfect now we have that item unlocked. So now that I can buy Eclectic Implings, I'm going to be buying them for that 1 in 100 chance at getting a Wild Pie, which will boost my Slayer by 5 levels, allowing me to kill Gargoyles and going for that chance of the Granite Mall. I need a Wild Pie. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's a... <laughs> So now that I have the wild pie, it's as simple as eating one every 60 seconds to maintain a boost of 75 Slayer and killing the gargoyles for that one in 256 chance at a G mall. Oh, myth bar. How did I not have a myth bar? All right, first trip. That was 42 gargoyles without the drop so far. All right, just got done with my second trip. Got up to a total of 90 gargoyles. All right, nothing on the third trip, up to 140 KC. Nothing that trip, 164 KC. <gasps> yes! Yes! Let's go! We're done! Oh, 220kc! Yes! We're done! Such a nice unlock. Let's go upgrade this thing. I'm gonna sell the drops I actually got from this, and I'm gonna upgrade my Gmall. Okay, 652k. Here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. I'm going to be honest, I didn't really think I was going to react because like it's just a Gmall, but like I'm just so happy to have this thing, man. This this is a game changer for PvP. It really is. I also have two clues, so let's do them. All right, medium casket. Uh, okay. And hard casket. Okay. Was finally able to do Dream Mentor. Done and out of the way. So getting a Berserker Ring will mean that I will have a best in slot ring slot for the rest of this account's history and getting that early on would be great. So I am going to go and try and kill Rex a bit for that one in 128 shot at a Berserker ring and see if we can get lucky. I just needed to unlock Rune Throne Axes to actually get there. So now they're unlocked. All right, that's my first DK kill. Nothing, obviously. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, we're done already. <laughs> I had a feeling I would get it on that kill. Like, I wasn't predicting every kill, but for some reason... I had a feeling I'd get it on that kill. Now all that's left to do is to complete Monkey Madness 2, train the account up to get vengeance, and then we can go PKing for some serious unlocks. Now I'm gonna go start doing all that, but in the meantime, if you wanna check out my second channel and get it to 10,000 subscribers, I'd really appreciate that. If not, all good. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week with another video.